everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. As you can see, I haven't had a shave for a while. I haven't actually done a video for, it must be two weeks now. The videos have been rolling out on the channel, but they were all recorded and so a close succession and then released. So, I'm going to use a new soap today. It was part of the trade with Marion the Barbarian, who I did watch have a good old rant on Tim Delaney, who is a scented soldier. And yeah, I didn't look into the whole thing, but I I got enough of the gist of the story, yeah, wow. So here we go. Spearhead Shaving Company. I can't remember exactly where these are based, I know you did tell me. I haven't done a lot of research on it, I'm using this as is, and I'm going to try and just sort of concentrate on the, the actual soap itself today. Now, oak moss and sandalwood, that is the scent right there. It's not a scent. If you said to me oak moss and sandalwood, I'd go, oh, that sounds like it's going to be nice. However, It's just a beautiful scent. Now, I put this really up there with a barbershop scent. It's quite powdery. It's a it's a lovely, sort of warm, it's got, it smells like it's got a little bit of vanilla happening in there. The sandalwood and the oak moss, to be honest, I don't really know what they smell like. But this smells absolutely beautiful. Now, scent strength out of the top and you take the lid off straight away, is around about a three or a four. I don't know how strong it's going to be once I lather it up, but the scent is excellent. The pour is beautiful, I mean, I know people don't, I mean, who gives a shit about the pour if the soap's good, but the pour on the soap is wonderful. Now, I believe you pick these up for 10 bucks in Australia, in, in, the, in the States, I think it's $10. So, four ounces of soap for 10 bucks. Now, the ingredients list are right there, if you want to pause and have a look. I will put a link to the website as well. Surprisingly enough, there's nothing on here website-wise, Facebook, Instagram, there's nothing on here to say where they're from, there's no email addresses, nothing. And I'm just going to double check here. Yes, so this is a tallow soap. And this is version 20.1. And it's a really nice scent. Brush for today is going to be my Wolf Whiskers Green Apple. I think it's called Green Apple, I don't know. With a 25mm Ultra Black Wolf Fan Knot. Flick out most of the excess. And I'm just going to do a 13 second load. There we go. So it looks like that now. There is what's in the brush. Now, just talking on loading soaps at the moment, just while I'm here. I have used Ariana and Evans Kaizen off camera a few times now. And it's very, very good soap. Now, I'm actually using that. Now, the last time I used it, I did a seven second load, which isn't a long time, with just a damp brush and didn't soft, like I didn't soak the soap. And it still made a fantastic lather. So I'm going to drop that again to five seconds, just for the, just to see how it goes, really, more than anything else. I can't see myself in the mirror over here, let me see what's going on. I think that's a bit it. Yeah, there we go. So it's really just to see whether I can get, do you know something, I don't think I've got enough soap in this brush, in this load. We'll see anyway, 13 seconds I feel, given all the soaps I've used recently, is a sufficient load time on any soap to make a good ladder. However, this one looks like it's going to be Struggle Street. I'm just going to dip the tips. Maybe not, who knows, let's just see what happens. And again. So Ariana and Evans is probably the first soap I've used where I do notice that I don't have to load the brush heavy at all. It just works. Yeah, I can tell you right now that this ladder is going absolutely nowhere on a 13 second load. So I'm just going to dip the tips again, go back to the soap and just load, excuse me, a little bit more into the brush. It's quite a firm soap, it's not super firm, but it's firm enough. Right, let's see if that's any better. I don't know how many seconds that was, but yeah, I can already tell that that's better. The scent, 
it's, it's reasonably strong now, stronger than it is out of the tub, which is good. It's probably up around about a four or five up, up there. Still not a super strong scent, but it's a very nice scent and I do enjoy it. It's very warming. Now, it isn't super cold over here in Western Australia at the moment, but it's cold enough. We've just had a new air conditioner installed yesterday because the old one was just, it wasn't working efficiently and it was costing us way more in electricity than it should do. And the new one is absolutely fantastic. So if you're looking to get a split system, wall mount air conditioner, internal, external unit, reverse cycle, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, it came highly recommended. And I'm so, so pleased with it. I have it sat on 20 degrees, I think, also. So when it's too hot, it'll cool it to 20 degrees, and when it's too cold, it'll, it'll warm it to 20 degrees. And it just sits there wonderfully well, and it works a treat. It's very quiet for the sun. It's a big unit, it's a nine and a half kilowatt unit. That's the cooling capacity of it. The heating capacity, I think, is 11 kilowatts. So it's a big old unit. But we've got about 100 square meters to cool and heat. So in the long run, it should work better. Right, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a good ladder here, but because I've got so much hair on my head, I think I've got about two weeks growth on my head. I don't have that much on my face. I have been shaving off camera. I don't know, how dare you shave off camera, you prick. I don't know. I honestly don't know if that's going to be enough protection for this first pass. But Looks like I could be here a very long time trying to create anything else with the ladder. I do struggle when I've got this much hair to create a voluminous ladder. Now I will just show you that little bit of ladder there. It is very dense, which is a good thing, a good start. But whether it's going to be any good for a shave, we shall soon see. Just pop that to the side. As you can see, there's not much lather in there. The hair on my head's very soft at this length. So I do find if you've got your hair's a little bit shorter and it's quite stubbly and, and firm, when you move the brush over with the soap, it lathers up a lot better. So I find people that don't tend to have a lot of facial growth, they grow, uh, they've got very, very soft hair or whatever, they don't create voluminous lathers quite as easily and it's only something I just realised. So if you've got sort of thicker growth and you've covered in hair and it's quite stubbly, it's quite rough, you'll create a thicker lather easier at least than you would without that. Right. The Fenner Artist Club Stainless Steel Disposable Blade Straight Razor, whatever you want to call it, Chevet, I don't know. Now, the blade that's in this one is a Chic Proline P30, which were very, very kindly gifted to me from a gentleman on the Paste and Cut forums in Australia, and it's a cracking blade. Probably, it feels like a Fenner blade after about between five and ten shaves, nice and smooth, but I am noticing they don't last very long. This is the same blade. That I've used from the start, so I want to see how it goes with the head shave just to get this sort of top section knocked off. So here we go, straight against the grain. Pretty impressive, and as you can see, it's knocked the majority of that down. The lather's a little bit dry, but it's coping just. If you're wondering how it's feeling, the blade doesn't feel as nice as the feather because the hair on my head is so much thicker. certainly doesn't feel anywhere near as sharp or as smooth as the, the wick. However, I am finding with the wick that, albeit it's good on the head, for those occasions like this when I need it, 
it's not a great razor for shaving my face, even with the new blades in it. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful razor. The blades are wonderful. They're very sharp and very efficient, but the problem I am finding with it isn't really to do with the full face shape, but it's mainly based around the fact that when I go up here and against the grain, for whatever reason, the blade or the razor or however it works, it sticks to my skin and I can't go, I just can't do it. It's very, very difficult to use for me in that regard. So far, so good. I have to say, obviously, you can see the, how much hair is in that. It's very difficult to gauge a soap quality on a head shave with so much hair growth. I think it's doing an excellent job. It's a big chunk of hair just there. I've got some of it. I'm going to finish off today with uh, the head blade. Mainly for speed because I am at 12 minutes. I don't, I'm not really near finished yet. I just noticed I filled my sink up fully here. I'm quite confident now this blade's pretty much done. And it hasn't done a whole lot of shaves. It's probably done about eight shaves, nine shaves, something like that. So it's almost like a feather blade. Once it's settled in, you get sort of 10, 10 shaves-ish or more, if you're lucky. I mean, I got 30 shaves from my last feather blade. 30 plus shaves, which is very, very impressive. Just going to fill the sink back up, rinse the razor off. Yeah, the, the Chic P30 is a fantastic blade. It just doesn't have the same, in my opinion so far, longevity of, of a feather super professional. I think it performed very well. There's going to be a lot of hair on the back still. But overall, for two plus, two plus weeks of growth, it's done very well. I'm just going to paint a little bit of this soap back on here before I add some water. I should be able to now hopefully create a little bit better lather. Just dip the tips.
って。It's not the best. This ladder. So don't, please don't watch this and go, this is soap shit. <laughs> Probably watch my face here, which should hopefully yield a better result. Head blade moto with a three blade Gillette sensor cartridge on it. I am trying to steer clear of cartridge razors as best I can. This is just a great tool every now and then just to whip out and just get something done quickly and I have to be honest and say look as much as I love the leaf razor and it it does an absolutely tremendous job cartridge razors shave my head better than anything else I'm on about real cartridge razors Leaf are in the process of creating their next Dynamo razor I don't know when that will be released but I know they've, they've already released the new twig or they're doing that at the moment yeah, The soap is really underhydrated, it's just clogging my razor up So it'll be interesting to see if the next iteration will rival an actual cartridge razor in terms of its feel and everything. Of course that's a very very difficult thing to do because cartridge razors are well they've always been built with plastic and they're not very eco-friendly, they're expensive they do a great job and anyone that tells me otherwise is just talking bullshit really you know especially for head shavers on the face I'm still of the opinion on a face shave if you just want a one-off amazing shave you won't get it quicker or probably closer or better than you can with a cartridge razor it's just it's near on impossible and it's one of those things again it's as much as I am a I am a traditionalist in the sense now when it comes to wet shaving I have to take my hat off to things like this Yes, they're not eco-friendly, yes they're expensive But they work And I, I don't get any issues, especially on head shaves I get practically zero issues with ingrown hairs and, and problems I can use cartridge razors on my head relatively often as well This soap's leaving a really funny soap scum in the sink, like a... It's, it looks very sort of spotty, like the oils are separated in the water. Which isn't something I see very often, it's quite, quite new. Never, well, I haven't seen it for a long time, I have seen it before. Why that is, I've got absolutely no idea. And this cartridge is, is by far and away the best cartridge I've ever used on a head blade. Just wet my hand and just see what this residual slickness is like. Oh, it's really good actually, surprisingly. I didn't think it was going to be, but it's really nice. And that is a faultless BDS head shave, which I believe no blood. I might have a little bit on the back, but we shall soon find out. Set the razor to the side, get some clean water. I will have 
some sort of dry flaking skin because I generally get that but overall that's an absolutely beautiful shave and, and BBS I don't know if there's any blood on the back I don't think there is I don't know how the red marks are doing and things but oh, post shave the initial post shave from the soap is really nice very very soft feeling very velvety feeling which is what I like what I look for so yeah the scent albeit not super strong is strong enough Right about a four or five when you get some water in there and it's a really nice scent powdery sort of vanilla ambery type tones it's, it's a great great winter scent summer scent probably not so much i tend to like brighter fruitier scents for summer see there's still quite a lot of soap in there at the base if you squeeze your knots they stick you can probably hear it as well Try and get more of that soap out. That's soap in the base of the knot, near the handle. What we want? 21 minutes for a head shave. It's disgusting. I never have videos 20 minutes long. Yeah, it's a really nice scent. It's one of those scents that you would like your brush to smell like, your badges and your both. Beautiful. Right, so that was Spearhead Shaving Company, Oak Moss and Sandalwood. What a beautiful scent, really nice scent. I'm looking forward to the face shave to actually see what it's like performance wise. I do tend to have a better gauge on things on a face shave. The razors were the Feather Artist Club Stainless Steel and the Head Blade Moto. The blade that was in there, which will be going in the bin after this shave, was the Chic P30 Pro Line, which is an excellent blade, really, really nice blade, just doesn't last as long. And the brush was the Wolf Whiskers Green Apple with a 25mm ultra fan knot, which is no longer available, you can't get these knots anymore. Pro from Peter Wolf at least. Wow, yeah, really happy with that. Really, really happy with that actually. Anyway, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys for the face shave. Cheers.